Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment, this is the Northern Alex. So welcome back to another review, this time for Ambulance Simulator 2014. Um, I just recently got this game from my friends at Rondo Media. And uh, yeah, I gotta say I love it. I'm gonna go in more detail and I can tell you right now this game is not gonna win any beauty contest. And I will tell you honestly, the sound can use some major work over. The engine sounds annoying, there is no sounds for switches or for turn signal, there is cutscenes if you wanna call them that, but they are very repetitive. The city seems a bit bland and the voiceover from the radio is just quite boring because the guy talks without any show of emotion. Um, so. We got all the bad stuff out of the way. Watch here the station wagon go around and around. Uh, this is the very first mission and it's kind of a tutorial. It shows you the very basics. Uh, your first mission, and I can, uh, spoiler alert, the first mission is uh, a heart transplant. You are shuttling a heart around. Uh, as you can see on the lower right corner, there we have a status bar. Going from status 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, back to 1. And those statuses are, like in Germany, uh, in real life, B1 uh, is available on the radio, 2 is available at station, 3 is a uh, received call, and uh, 4 is arrived at scene, 7 patient on board, 8 arrived at hospital, and then you go back to 1 ready on uh, radio. So this is new compared to the old ambulance driver. Um, it's a very nice touch, it gives you points too. Uh, if you don't use it, well, you lose out on the points, but this is the only penalty. Um, the game will still continue. So it's up to you if you use it or not. I obviously would use it, because we like to have it as uh, realistic as possible. So, okay, um, you might think, well, after saying all these negative things, you said you love the game, and I can tell you, yes, I absolutely do love the game, because even though there's all those things that I told you that are not great, well, this game is called Ambulance Driver Simulator, and that's where the game gets it right. I don't know how they did it or how they conveyed it, but if you are in that driver's seat, and you go code 3 and you come up to an intersection and you come up to that red light and you turn your siren on you see all of a sudden all traffic stops and they pull out to the sides and whatnot and this is where this game gets everything right it's just an, an ambience a feel that I do not know how they actually were able to capture it the way they did the AI traffic acts like it would in real life, uh, they pull over. Some of them just hammer on the brakes right in front of you, so you have to be on your toes, because you might very well end up in the back of one of those cars, and that would be bad. Now, the physics of the game are not bad. They could use uh, a little bit of improvement, definitely, but as I said, the basics of the driving are really good. It is said that while the G27 is supported. I tried playing with it. At this point, there's really no analog support. It's still, even with the G27, it's just a digital f uh, driving. The only thing that's nicer is uh, you can uh, obviously steer the vehicle a little bit better. But uh, the gas and the brake are still digital. There's either one or zero, either a full brake application or no brake application, and the same with throttle. So that's sad but this is not a deal breaker now i'm gonna show you here now uh, how we drive towards a call and uh, i'm not gonna say much about it because i just let the picture speak for itself and yes the last couple seconds of this one i screwed up that there was nobody's fault but my own because i figured while well, i go into oncoming traffic to make it faster and in a previous run that worked fine I guess the AI traffic is really sometimes it reacts on you and sometimes it doesn't then you know even if that would be a bug I'm okay with that because I can't tell you how often I had to hammer on the brakes driving an engine as well as an ambulance because somebody ahead of me did something completely stupid even though I had uh, lights and sound running so 
But uh, anyways, uh, enjoy those scenes. And then you're going to see where this game gets it all right. And that is when we come up to the patient and we actually treat the patient. And you know how I had all these problems and all these complaints about the rescue, uh, what was it, rescue 2014, um, where I said, well, just the way they treat is completely off and out to lunch. Well, this game gets it right where it counts. The meat of a rescue simulator is the actual rescue part or the actual treatment of the patient and this is where this game absolutely scores. And this is not only do you have uh, your ECG, you have a defib, you have all kinds of different uh, IVs with you. No, but you can also, you can actually talk to the guy, get a history from him and uh, here you can see that now as I treat the guy, you have all the options that I would want as a paramedic or as an EMT. Now certainly it is a game, so there are limitations, but in, in, in essence uh, I can just say this game gets it right where it counts and this is the driving part and or to, to just to convey this this feel of, okay, you are driving now the ambulance, the guys are actually moving out of your way and there's some sense of urgency when you come up behind them and turn your lights and siren on and they actually, they move there. There's, um, yeah, there's no other way to say it. There is a sense of urgency and this is awesome how this game captures that. And then, as I said, on the or treatment part, you can tell that there is actually that the developers of the game took the time talk to paramedics, talk to EMTs and got this part really right. Of course, as I said, it is a game. You cannot do everything like you would in real life. But let's say f to 80%, this is how I would approach the situation from the moment where I come to the scene, I talk to the guy and then from there on out, the steps are fairly close. So with that, guys, I have to say I love this game for the uh, aforementioned reasons too. Now, I do not know at this point, and I will make an update, if the game will be released in English. I sure hope so, and uh, I am waiting to hear back from my friends at Rondo Media whether or not this is going to happen. I am also planning on having an interview with one of the developers because this game gets it right. And now, as we come up here to the 9-minute mark, now here's the kicker. This game has a 100% fully supported a mod support. It comes with the editor and it comes with a fairly good explanation. Anybody who ever modded EM4 will love this because you get all the tools to incorporate your creations into this game and this is where I am super excited to see what you guys can come up with. What crazy things are going to be happening with this game, like when the cities change, when the ambulances change. I have visions of a uh, New York ambulance running down the street, sirens blaring, stuff like that. And there is also uh, the possibility to fully incorporate new missions. So you can actually make your own accident, your own burn victim, your own, well, whatever, you name it. You are the creator of this part of your world and what you want to happen will happen. This is really where I'm getting excited and you guys know me. Uh, I usually don't show many emotions, but this gets me super excited because this is one of the few games where I can say the developers actually listened to the community, they gave us mod support right from the get-go and I think this is where this game scores big time. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed I making this review for you guys. I hope uh, you give this game a chance, even though it doesn't look like much, but believe me, here is not the looks, but the beauty is underneath the hood. And as I said, with 100% mod support, this game has a brilliant future as far as I'm concerned. Yes, before you asked, there will be a full featured uh, let's play or playthrough of this game. Uh, it is right now 40 missions, but as I also said, editor support and uh, with the mod support, there's going to be a lot more missions probably in the future. So guys, with that, I leave you for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more reviews like that, please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel, spread the word. Thank you so much for watching, guys. God bless.